Right now, let's take a look at this particular question. Now, um, given that alpha, beta are the roots of this equation, so here we have a quadratic equation which has got a uh, 2x square minus 6x minus 3 equals to 0. Okay, and uh, what we understand uh, is obviously that uh, this 2 is our a, this negative 6 which is our b, and uh, this negative 3 which is our c. Okay. So, uh, based on what we discussed earlier on, we also know that the, the two roots being alpha and beta, we know that the sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta, is equal to negative b over a, which in this particular case is actually equal to negative of the negative 6 over 2, which will give us a positive 3. So, uh, we know that the sum of roots is 3. Okay, and similarly, according to what we discussed earlier on, um, that alpha beta, which is the product of roots, is actually equal to C over A. In this particular case, uh, our product of roots will give us negative 3 over 2. Alright, so this is the, 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 the information that we are given, all right, which is the sum of roots is 3 and the product of roots is um, negative 3 over 2. And what are we supposed to do? Well, we're supposed to find the value of alpha square plus beta square and uh, using all this information only okay so how are we going to go around doing it okay now many students tend to think that oh okay it's not that bad because alpha square plus beta square is actually equal to alpha plus beta uh, multiplied by alpha plus beta and you need to understand this that this is absolutely wrong okay if things were to be so easy then there's no need to learn binomial theorem at all, isn't it? So this is wrong. Okay, and based on what we understand from our basic algebra is that um, the alpha plus beta, right, bracket square, which is alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha plus beta, is actually equal to alpha square plus two alpha beta plus beta square. Okay, and, and this is the correct formula that you have to remember and memorize. Okay, and uh, if we were to move things around, okay, now let's say we want to move um, this 2 alpha beta around. Okay, and now uh, let me convert back, okay, into the left hand side. So we end up with this version of the same formula, which is alpha plus beta bracket square minus away 2 alpha beta is equal to alpha square plus beta square okay so this is the thing the the, the equation that we are trying to uh, figure out and therefore uh, if you notice already um, that uh, this is the, the 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 question okay which is what the question wants us to do which is to find the value of alpha square plus beta square okay and according to the equation alpha square plus beta square it is actually equal to alpha plus beta bracket square minus away alpha beta and alpha plus beta we do know the value of alpha plus beta which is 3 and uh, alpha beta we also know that the value of alpha beta is actually negative 3 over 2 so substituting this 3 here and uh, negative 3 over 2 here we end up with 3 square minus away 2 multiplied by negative 3 over 2 which will give us a positive 3 so this will be a 9 plus a 3 um, that gives us 12 so my alpha square plus beta square is actually equals to 12 okay so here we go this is how we solve uh, a typical question like this okay uh, and the answer is 12 all right which is the first part okay now let's move on to the hands part hands uh, find the value of part 1 which is alpha 4 plus beta 4 okay let's take a look at this how we're we going to solve this okay now using the same concept all right the same formula over here let me change color a bit again all right uh, we should know that if i have uh, alpha square plus beta square and i were to square the whole thing all right i will get alpha power 4 plus 2 alpha square beta square plus beta power 4 Okay, and this is exactly the same formula as the one over here, uh, which we do know that it is correct. Okay, so now if we were to shift things around again, that means to say we shift this 2 alpha square beta square over to the left hand side. Okay, we will end up with alpha square plus beta square, the entire thing square minus 2 alpha square beta square. Okay, 
is actually equal to alpha power 4 plus beta power 4. And this is actually the, 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 the equation we will need to help us solve this question. Okay, so let's pay attention again to uh, the information that we actually need. Okay, now we, we need to find alpha power 4 plus beta power 4. And uh, therefore, we will need this value, which is alpha square plus beta square, to square it. And we do know this value from the previous answer, which is 12. Okay, and we also need our alpha square multiplied by beta square. Okay, and alpha square multiplied by beta square is actually um, here. Okay, um, alpha, beta, entire thing square. So let us substitute in all these values. We will end up with 12 square. Okay, because alpha plus beta, alpha square plus beta square being 12. Okay, minus away 2, uh, and this is actually uh, alpha, beta, bracket square, isn't it? Okay, so alpha, beta, bracket square um, will be negative 3 over 2 bracket square okay and uh, being a perfect square this negative is actually redundant so it becomes a positive 9 over 4 uh, positive 9 over 4 multiplied by 2 gives us a 9 over 2 so that gives us uh, 1 4 4 minus away 9 over 2 okay is actually our answer that we are looking for alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 Okay, and of course, using our calculator, we'll work this value out as 1, 3, 9, and a half. Okay, it's actually equal to the value of alpha 4 plus beta 4. Okay, so this is the answer for part 1. Okay, then let's move on to part 2. Now, part 2 asks us to find the value of alpha minus beta. And uh, right from the beginning, we know that alpha is a number greater than beta and therefore uh, now that we're looking for the value of alpha minus beta we expect it to be a positive value okay so we expect it to be a positive value so if we were to get a negative value we know something is wrong All right but now the bigger question is how are we going to gather this value alpha minus beta uh, based on all these things that we know so far Okay, and what do we know? Well, we know alpha plus beta is equal to 3. We know the product is uh, alpha times beta is equal to negative 3 over 2. We know the sum of the square, and we know the sum of the power 4 as well. Now, how are we going to figure this out? Okay, again, uh, it requires a bit of your algebra knowledge. So, according to the formula, which is this formula, alpha minus beta and starting square, if we were to expand this, we will get alpha minus 2 alpha beta plus beta square. Okay, and uh, I need you to understand that uh, alpha square plus beta square is a value that we have here, 12. Okay, and uh, 2 alpha beta is no big deal either because alpha beta is negative 3 over 2. So in short, if we were to substitute in all these values that we know, okay, alpha square plus beta square being 12, and minus 2 times of alpha beta, which is negative 3 over 2, this will give us 12 plus 3, which is 15. And there you go. We actually figure out alpha minus beta bracket square equals to 12. But many people will stop here and think that, oh, yeah, you got the correct answer and move on to the next question. But sad to say, this is wrong because what we figure out for 15 is not quite the question, uh, not quite the answer to the question. Okay, so what the question really wants us to do is to find the value of alpha minus beta. So in, in other words, we will need to take the square root for both sides. Okay, and when we take square root both sides, we need to be careful that we actually have two answers, which is a positive square root 15 as well as a negative square root 15. Okay, so many students tend to forget this as well. So do take note of this. Whenever you square root both sides of an equation, you get two answers, plus and minuses. Okay, plus and minus. So um, this answer we will have to reject, okay, which is not applicable to the question here because we are expecting a positive value. So uh, the answer should be a positive square root 15. Okay, that's all.